Before the Seven Kingdoms, before the Iron Throne, there was Dorne. 12,000 years ago, the first men crossed a land bridge from Essos to here. Of course, there were men, so they soon broke it. Then, while their cousins to the north built kingdoms, the Dornish squabbled over land, water, and wives for centuries. Until Nymeria, a warrior princess in Essos, she led a fleet of 10,000 ships across the narrow sea to Dorne. Almost all of the petty lords made it clear that she wasn't welcome. All but one, Morse of House Martel. He saw in her a strength to match any man, including his rivals. After she accepted his marriage offer, she set fire to her ships. For 50 leagues, the coast was bright as day, and in the burning light, Princess Nymeria, named Morse Martel, the Prince of Dorn, in the style of her people. Dorn would be her home, or her grave. For many years, Nymeria and Morse waged war against all rivals, the Jordanes, Blackmonts, Corgiles, and even the mighty House Ironwood. They sent no fewer than six self-styled kings to the wall in golden chains. After Morse fell in battle, Nymeria took command of his armies and united Dorne. In two years, she ruled for 27 more, and though she married again, those husbands were little more than counselors and consorts. Dorn was Nymeria, and Nymeria was Dorn. She survived a dozen attempts on her life, put down two rebellions, and threw back two invasions. And when at last she died, her eldest child succeeded her, her daughter, not her son. And Dorn followed her because Nymeria had proven that women were equal to men, if not better. Centuries later, Aegon Targaryen sought to unite Westeros as Nymeria had Dorne. The other six kingdoms fell quickly before his dragons and ambition. When his sister wife, Rhaenys, flew her dragon south and demanded our surrender as well, Princess Meria Martel warned, I will not fight you, nor will I kneel to you. Dorne has no king. Tell your brother that. Rhaenys threatened that the next time the Targaryens would come with fire and blood. Meria replied, You may burn us, my lady, but you will not bend us, break us, or make us bow. This is Dorne. You are not wanted here. Return at your peril. Rhaenys did, and she died. Her dragon died. All her soldiers died. Eventually, her brother, the Conqueror, conceded that what Nymeria had done, he could not undo. Generations later, another foolish Targaryen invaded Dorne. He died as well. Eventually, we did join the Seven Kingdoms, but when we wanted, and on our terms. If dragons could not conquer us, why should we fear lions? Unbowed, unbent, unbroken. The words of House Martel, the words of Dorne. Men may forget, but women always remember. When we were divided, Nymeria united us. When we were invaded, Meria defended us. Now Dorne has been humiliated, its prince murdered. Who will rise to avenge us?